Let's take a look at the Lucid chart, Lucid Spark, and Lucid Scale integrations here with Google Docs. So within a Google Doc, if you have the Google Workspace integrations installed for Lucid, you'll be able to open up this side panel, and you can then choose to insert a diagram uh, from Lucid Spark, Lucid Chart, or Lucid Scale. I'm just going to show Lucid Chart. Just know that it's very similar for the other two in terms of how the UI looks. Once you have authorized and signed in uh, to your account and connected them, you'll actually be able to go and browse your documents or create a new document. I'm just going to go ahead and say, let's browse a document. This is going to pop open another window here for me, where I'm actually going to be able to browse all my Lucid chart documents that I have available. You'll see that I could search the documents, I could come in and look through folders, and I'm just going to go in and find uh, a different diagram here. So let's use this one. And I'm going to go ahead and select and insert that diagram. Now you'll notice that Google has inserted it as an image here, and I can move that around if I wanted to adjust this and move the image up. If I wanted to move things around, let's actually go ahead and drag this up here, and we're going to put it right here. So similar to working with other images in Google. So something that's unique though is that this is going to be hyperlinked to the Lucid diagram. So this is going to give me a link out, so because I have access to the diagram, I can click on that and I'll be able to hop right in. And this is going to show me then the diagram in Lucid Chart. If I were to make some changes here, maybe I'd like to come in and add a couple more of these transit gateways. Let's just drop these in. <laughs> Uh, so I've got a couple examples here where I've added new shapes. If I go back to my Google document, it's not currently showing those, but that's easy to fix because Lucid has the ability for you to update those images. All I have to do is come over to the Lucid plugin and click update images, and it's going to replace any existing images of diagrams that I have here with the latest, most up-to-date versions of those. So you'll notice that those shapes have now been added to the image preview of my diagram that I had just edited there. So that's it. That's how you use the Lucid Google Docs integration. Uh, and it's very similar for Lucid Spark and for Lucid Scale. Hope this is helpful.